taken by this feeling baby we're invincible hi guys and welcome back to another episode of rebuilding Notts county this could be the biggest episode of this save so far uh we've got the fa cup semi-final against liverpool up first of all things and then two games to decide whether we will be in the premier league next year or having to take that complete plunge into the roulette that is the playoffs um so yeah this is going to be tense as balls first i thought we'd start on sean lancaster to show you how sort of the guy that wasn't uh, Count Truffles was performing, playing for the under-18s and under-23s this season. 37 appearances, 23 goals and 14 assists. The guy is progressing very nicely, although there is a slight injury susceptibility about him. We've got rid of the long shot thing that he was doing. Um, so he's definitely coming along. Still only 17 years old, but I think there's a, a bright future for this guy. And yeah, I, I just, I really, really like him. He dribbles, I mean, 6.3 dribbles per game for a guy that only has nine dribbling is ridiculous. Not the best crossing, but still only 17 years old. I think there's a lot to like about this guy, and he will definitely feature for us some point in the future if he keeps progressing the way that he is. So, without further ado, I'm just going to jump straight into the off-camera games because three matches today. It's going to be a long episode, undoubtedly. Probably 20 minutes plus, I would say, but I hope you guys don't mind. So literally, the first thing we did in an off-camera game was go and lose at home to Rotherham. So typical of us, really, isn't it? Regan Booty again ran the show, man of the match, uh, got an assist as well for Costel Troffin's goal, but it wasn't enough. Um, this wasn't even one of those games where we gave up. I mean, we did give up a fair few chances, but annoyingly, it wasn't from them going in behind us. The first one was Adam Ida. We gave him the ball. We literally just passed him the ball, and then... Oh, no, we didn't. We passed the ball to someone else, and then just dinked it to Adam Ida, and bam, goal. And then, unfortunately, they made it 2-0 from a an indirect free kick, which is one of those ones where they take it short and then all of our players ignore the runner and then able Trey, Trey Coy was able to go through and make it 2-0. Thankfully, we got one back in the second half uh, through Count Truffles, but it was not enough, unfortunately. But hey, to be honest, that happens. We had some great luck in, I'd say, in the last episode with both live comms. So what goes around comes around. Swings and roundabouts and all that jazz. But what did help was the fact that West Bromwich Albion lost to Southampton 2-1 at the same time. And Fulham drew against QPR in the London derby. So us losing here meant that we didn't lose any ground to West Brom. And Fulham only gained one point on us. So it wasn't the end of the world at all. But then we bounced back with probably one of the performances of the season. Again, Regan Booty ran the show. He got another assist. He's onto 21 in the league. He's broken the championship record. And my God, did he deserve it. Whipped the ball out wide to Ricky Griffiths, who smashed... This was brilliant. He just ran towards the corner of the box and absolutely thundered one in at the near post. Just completely out of the blue. Wham! 1-0. Second half, we just kept on pressing and pressing and pressing. Robbie Burton scored a header with, I think, his ninth or eighth goal of the year before Sam Hughes scored his tenth goal of the season. He's into double figures from centre-back. What? a season he's had. Uh, Kieran O'Hara though did make two mistakes leading to goals because he should have got to Burton's one. I don't know why it counted as a mistake leading to goal but it did and then he definitely should have done better as he was reaching down to grab it. Sam Hughes slid in to make it 3-0. Perfect performance. Exactly what we needed. Um, now the way things have worked is we're actually we're a game ahead of everyone now uh, because of our FA Cup game against Liverpool. The other games are taking place during the FA Cup tie. We're currently well you, I'll just show you. Because of all that we've now played a game more. We're eight points clear of Fulham and nine points clear of West Bromwich Albion which means even if West Brom win I think they can't finish above us and they have to play Leeds anyway so I think it's unlikely they will. The issue is basically with Fulham. Fulham, who are they playing? Fulham are hosting Bristol City, so you feel like they'd probably win that, but they'd still be five points behind with two matches to go. We're in a very, very prime spot to potentially get promoted this season, and it is glorious. Regan Booty, got to be player of the year. 21 assists in the league and eight Man of the Match awards. Um, what an absolute lad. He's got better towards the end. Those little rests have really helped him out. Um, but more on that in a minute, because I mean, I don't think we're going to finish above Leeds or anything like that. They are clearly, they're already promoted and looking very, very good. Charlton are also relegated as well. By far, probably the worst team in this league, despite Middlesbrough's um, less points, to be honest. So, Nottingham Forest look like they may just about survive, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> so, let's get straight into the FA Cup. Oh, I didn't expect, I don't know, we just seem to have really found something with this new high-pressure approach. So, let's get this going. Mancini's managing Liverpool by the way now. So, we're going to just do a selection of vice just to see who's available. Uh, oh, is that really what I want to do? It might have to be, in all honesty. Although, I think I'd rather play... Uh, Nikrashevich over O'Shea, in all honesty, just because I want to keep giving him some time because he's got that young quality. Everybody else, though, totally happy to start with. Ricky Griffiths has forced his way into the team now, and I'm happy for him to keep that job right now. He's scoring goals, and you've seen five of them. We're not expecting anything, so we'll just have a crack. You might think, oh, we should probably go out and try to defend against these guys, but at the end of the day, it's Liverpool. We're not going to be able to do much against them anyway. We might as well do what we did against Arsenal and we'll just go hell for leather and see what happens. This is going to be fun. 5 0 incoming. Four truffles today because, oh, good ball for Dybala. What the hell happened there? He scored a goal, but it's not counted as a shot on target. Vitamin P has made an error. 
apparently. Oh, I thought this was his bread and butter. What a ball this is, by the way. Um, just to send this through there. But what's happened? Dybala... I mean, is that a mistake by the goalkeeper? Ah, oh, that's frustrating. It's frustrating because to go behind to a goal like that when they're clearly going to be better than us in every other area, it's a shame. Um, but that's just what happens sometimes. Oh, Rifki, Rifki Griffiths has got it back. Can he square it? No, but Alison Becker is forced into the stop. They're going to side through us at any moment now, but... Robertson. Gomez. Oh, Mane. What a goal. Like, just wonderful football from Liverpool. 2-0 um, down off of one shot on target is a bit frustrating, but, like, they've just been much, much better. Than they are Liverpool, after all. Um, I think they've definitely won the league in this save so far. So this is what we're going to be up against next year in the Premier League if we were to go up. But look at this football. Just dinks it to the back post. Salah's volley. Wow. Nothing that he can do about that. Hmm. Well, the game's sort of simmered down now, but whether that means anything good for us, I don't know. Sam Hughes, can he square? Wow, whips it out wide for Nico Williams. He's going to get the shot where you feel. And a good save again by Alisson. Oh, lots of space for Alexander-Arnold. He's just so good at getting those crosses in. Dybala makes it 3-0 to Liverpool in the first half now. They've been very clinical. They have scored... Well, I say they have scored every single shot on target. The equivalent of every shot on target has gone in. Um, but I guess that's the kind of clinical nature you're going to get in the Premier League. I thought he should be doing better here. Like, he shouldn't be letting that cross get in. Dybala gets his crosses, man, and that is 3-0. If we do go up, I think we're going to have to work on a more conservative tactic uh, for games against the big sides where we can be much more strong defensively. Because I think our pressing approach is going to have to work against a lot of the sides we'd play against if we were to be, you know, some of the lower sides in the league. But, and wow, great save by Vitamin P. Oh, we're doing a solid job of doing that stuff. Oh, Truffles is in. Can he score in an FA Cup semi-final? No! Oh, God, Count Truffles very nearly had a goal back for us before. That had to be a goal. He's through, he's got the right moment, and somehow he's hit the crossbar with that. 3-1 before half time doesn't do anything but put a little bit of a sheen on it. But, God, he should have scored. For us to even be in this game is completely crazy, so... Whatever happens is still going to be good for us on the night in terms of the season. Griffiths, this is where Truffles needs to make a run, and he has. Can he get there? He's through. And again, big save out of Allison. Um, Truffles is testing them a little bit now. Nico Williams. Could he drop one short for someone, perhaps? He should. And Griffiths! Curtis Jones nearly scored against his old club. Wow. God, the way we've played in this second half is actually pretty impressive, I've got to say. I mean, in the end, we are going to lose the game 3-0 from those early blitzes. But I've got to say, we actually didn't do too badly in terms of creat creativity against a team like Liverpool. That's saying something about our qualities in places. The fact that we were able to actually conjure those opportunities and maybe with a little bit better finishing on places, we could have maybe had a goal and should have. Liverpool 3, Notts County nil. We are out the FA Cup, but I think we've held our own in places in that match, it, it, despite of that. Um, hey, maybe on another day, we hold them a bit closer. But there you go. Right, time to turn to the league. But firstly, let's see what Fulham got on. Right, let's see how Fulham got on. They did win. Fulham 4, Bristol City 2. In fact, they were 4... No, they weren't. They were 3-0. Wow, what an end to that game. Right then, we're back. And we're playing West Brom on the Friday night. Um, a point would probably be enough, potentially, to see us be promoted to the Premier League. Not officially, but a win would. So, everything else is fine. Squad lineup in terms. Uh, but I do want to actually know. Swap some stuff around a little bit. Uh, what on earth? No, what are we doing here? So bring that in. That's fine. Move that. I don't really want to put Troff in there. Like, I, I know that he could play there. Do you know what? I think we might have to. Troff in on the left, Campbell through the middle, and just see what we can do with both of these two in the team right now. I just don't trust McPhee. I feel like um, Count Truffles will do a better job there. The, but he is actually in form again at the moment, and it concerns me. But it's just something we're going to have to deal with. Yeah, I think this is going to have to be it. Fuster, Lervik, Coates, Gubarinic, Nakrashevich, Miic, and Mamakon Oz. He wants to smash the crap out of Valerie, apparently, which is not a bad idea because he scored some annoying goals against us this year. We owe them too. We get to play that card. Right. Let's have this. Notts County at home against West Bromwich Albion. A win and we're in the Prem. And we could still win the championship as well. Remember, that's not technically out of the woods yet for us. We could still win the entire division. To get us off to the perfect start, whips it in and it's left. Oh, and Sam Hughes was nearly there again. And oh, he's all the way in. Oh, Big stop by Vitamin P. He needed to make that save. Coming from behind is not easy. This game has all the hallmarks of one where we're actually squeezing someone effectively um, from the point of having all the possession. So that could help us. Like against Charlton, we squeeze the crap out of them. It doesn't always work, but today it seems to be. Ball downfield. Enough players around here to prevent this. Surely saved again by Vitamin P. Ball over the top. Tyrese Campbell's in. One touch to set himself. It's a bit too far. Griffiths, though. Takes both of them on. Ricky Griffiths. Oh, what a chance. He is so dangerous. All the way through? Cleared. Moy. Oh, God. Miller against... Well, Miller's already gone straight through here. And that's surely going to be a goal, but it's not. 
Get out to him. Don't let him play that ball into the center. There's a lot of space through the middle here. Miller's in again. And a good block. And Griffiths is going through a few more again. And squares it. Well, it was a, just a poor shot, I think. He does a lot of the same stuff as Ron Coates. But for some reason, he just looks like he's got a little bit more about him in certain areas. And I don't know why. Williams. And it's... Truffles! Oh, God. He's missed it. Booty delivers a corner. And it's... Oh, and Hughes has headed over the crossbar. Half time, nil nil. They've had the better of the chances, but we've certainly not been any slouches ourselves in terms of chances. Let's go. Second half. Honestly, either team could be in front at the moment. But a nil nil would probably. It could just be the point that we need just to keep that pressure on Fulham. Still not the end of the world, even if we. Oh, hello. Nakajima's flying through here. Haji's in. And it's a good save by Vitamin P again. Right, I've seen enough. I, I think they're breaking through us too quickly now. Um, so we are going to move to that. Turn off that and up the uh, passing directness a little bit. I feel like we've ridden our luck one too many times so far in this game. And one more might be uh, the killer blow. Oh, no. And instead, it's a goal from a free kick. Um, that's very similar to the one that Char uh, Rotherham scored against us. Except what happened with that is they play it short. And then what will happen is eventually they'll just play it back to this guy who makes the run. And none of the other players pick him up at all. Uh, and this one, unfortunately, it's just come back to Miller. And it's a great hit at the, first, at the near post. And Liam Miller now goes top scorer in the league and scores against us. This is not what we wanted. I can't really begrudge on the lead, though, because the chances have been there. Um... Coatsy now. Chance to just run against slightly more tired defenders, perhaps. Could give us an opportunity. Coates, ball in. Cleared away, and... And Fust has got there. Through for Coates! Oh! Near post, and it's blocked. Okay. So just keep finding those wide errors with Nico Williams and Ron Coates. Williams has gone past his man. He's probably going to have to take him on again, though. Might just drop it inside for Coates. He does. Coates is going to drive at the defence and have a shot here. You feel like... Fusta! Good save. Over the top, Nakajima's through again. Oh, he's got... He made a good angle for himself. And again, Vitamin P with the stop. There we go. Goes to Nakajima. Oh, that's much more like the goal that Rotherham scored. Back post. Nobody there. Coates. Fuster. He's got a dribble on him. He's already through. Oh, nobody could quite make the run for us. Backs against the wall for West Brom now. Williams. Ball across. And it's cleared. Fuster. Fuster blocked. Williams. Coates. Fuster again. And it's... Oh! We're to the 96th and a half minute. I think that's because there was an injury. And that's probably going to do it. Unless Regan Boot, he's found one! Finds the target, but not quite enough there. I don't think we could be begrudge them the win if they do get it. Ball in, headed away. Keeper's up there. Go on, Vitamin P. Whip across him, buddy. He's... It's just about stayed in... Oh! Notts County nil. West Bromwich Albion won. Liam Miller's goal. Frustrating goal to concede, but can't really complain too much. Oh! Right. See how Fulham do. So Fulham are away at 20th place Cardiff. You feel like they'll win. Let's see how they do. Oh! <laughs> Come on! I don't know what happened because it just took us straight to this screen. Whatever happens, Fulham didn't win and we are promoted anyway. We are in the Premier League next year, lads. Oh, board set initial budgets. 31 million in transfer funds and our wage budget has just uh, trebled, basically. Let's just take a little gander here. We've got £249,000 a week to play with. Ooh, there's some experience money here. And 31 million in the bank. Now, obviously, you know, I'm not going to spend all of it. We're going to invest it wisely. Yes, come on, that's an anticlimactic moment. So they were beaten 4-3 by Cardiff City, who scored an 86th minute winner with uh, Josh Murphy to beat Fulham and do us a massive favour. And Leeds are actually already promoted as champions because of the result against West Brom, but they did lose, uh, did draw. Right, well, we can relax against Borough. <laughs> back for a party on the final day. Just thought I'd come back a tad early because this has just popped up. I think it would be a good idea to hold a team meeting to give players some words of encouragement ahead of our next fixture as it is crucial to our ongoing promotion battle. Tyrone, we are already promoted. And I wanted to see if this is actually going to... Because I reckon I'm going to ask them about this. And they're going to complain. Even though we're already promoted. That's just to give you an idea of how broken this mechanic is. Let's see. Talk to the team about promotion chances. We're expected to achieve promotion this season. And a win this next match will go a long way to helping us realise that ambition. Obviously, we're already promoted. Right. It's not fair for you to burden us with those expectations right now. We are already promoted. What the fuck? Sorry. But, like, what a load of bullshit. Like, what? And I knew I was gonna ha that was going to happen. I could have just ignored it. But, like, why is this a thing? Damn, injuries for days here. Ron Coates out. Fuster's out. Everybody's out. So, final day of the season. Full of host Barnsley. Doesn't mean anything for them. Apparently, th also, the players' morale. They've gone from being perfect or exceptional to fairly good. Some of them are actually tipped over into the... Uh, it's just mental. Uh, why is that a thing? 
particularly when you're already promoted. That should not be possible. I don't know how that's even happened. I think it might though be because I ignored one of them when we had a chance to potentially get promoted in one of the off-camera matches. Uh, no, I ignored one of them before the West Brom game because I was like, they're stupid and they never work because obviously they are. But maybe that's because it's glitched back in. I don't know. Yeah, it'll be fine. 91, 92, that's fine. Uh, switch these two over, of course. Everything is back to normal there. And, of course, we've got my man Truffles up top. I think lacking him up top in the West Brom game might have given us a bit of a problem too. The strategy does seem to work better with him up front because he's just got that additional pace that makes a hell of a difference in getting in behind people and stuff. So on the bench, Fuslet, Lervik, Mijic, Campbell, Nikolasiewicz, Gubrinic, and, of course, Mamakon Oz. But I would very much like to finish uh, with a win so that we end up on 90 points in the end, which I think is a very comfortable amount to expect promotion with. And Ricky Griffiths, is, he does look that little bit better, i got to say, although he was poor in the last game. Farthing. Although what I would say is we're leaving three up top. Middlesbrough are going to have some counter-attacking threat, that's for sure. And, oh, nearly went in front. Oh, what a ball from Ricky Griffiths. Nico Williams is in. He'll probably shoot. And he does. This feels like the type of game that Regan Booty could run if he wants to. Oh, lots of space for Ricky Griffiths again. Williams? Griffiths! <laughs> Lots of the ball. Not done a great deal with it just yet, but look at the runners from all over. Nico Williams is through again. Oh, <laughs> there's gaps. In games where we're the better team on paper, we just seem to be able to absolutely dominate teams playing like this. Williams, round he goes, and he whip it across for someone. Goes back for Burton. He's going to shoot as well. Good save by McCarthy. Like Even by our standards, 69% possession. Nice. Is a lot. Uh, and Griffiths has nearly won it off of them there as well. We're just completely keeping them penned in currently. Winning all the important battles, but we need goals. Booty. Oh, could he clip it through? He's found it. Stephen Walker's in behind now. And it's going to be a corner. Booty again. We need to be troughing. He's been making a run. Uh, he... Oh, he's, he's made it anyway. And a good save by McCarthy again. What? Oh my God, what was that? Oh God, what was that? Great. Just brilliant goalkeeping there. In a game we've been so dominant in. Very nearly gave it up there. Lejeune. Oh, he's got to look into the channel for Griffiths. He does. Griffiths could take these guys on, but he might just find Booty instead. Oh, I don't know how we're not in front in this match, and it certainly isn't for the lack of chances, that's for sure. And farthing. Well, I think it'd be fair to say we should probably be in front, but we're not. We need to go out there, play the exact same way in the second half, and surely a goal will come eventually in this one if we carry on playing like this. Oh my god, look at that. McCarthy. There's no one there, and they keep kicking it into that channel. Williams. So many men to aim at. One of them is Robbie Burton. Good save again by McCarthy. <laughs> Found a bit of a gap as well for Robbie Burton. Ricky Griffiths. Oh, wow, surely not. If this turns into a goal. Oh. <sighs> This second half has been very poor. They seem to have shut us down somewhat. I think they've changed system too, which has probably helped. I'm going to be honest, I'm disappointed that we've not gone and actually managed to win this match, uh, given the chances created and the domination of this one. But I guess that's just how it how it is sometimes. Uh, point is, we're promoted anyway, but God, we should be winning games like this. Particularly when we're creating the chances. There we go. Middlesbrough nil, Notts County nil. Another clean sheet uh, for Vitamin P, but a frustrating performance. Williams was dominant, but we just could not put the ball in the back of the net to save our lives, unfortunately. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We are promoted just behind Leeds. West Brom come third in the end. They also scored a late winner. Um, where were they? Yep, they beat Leeds, in fact, with Gabriel Martinelli scoring for them in the final moments of that game. So that's actually quite impressive for them to have beat. They've beaten us and Leeds in the final few matches, but couldn't quite do enough to get promoted in the end. Derby sneak it. Look at that Rotherham actually end up coming seventh. Really big for them. Middlesbrough relegated along with Charlton and Luton. Forest stay up. While we're here, Premier League, Chelsea win it. Uh, no, they don't. Oh, no, they have already won it, but they are. the league hasn't actually finished yet. Sheffield United are going down, going down hard. Uh, Norwich probably going with them. Watford also looking likely. Bournemouth, though, seventh. League One, Wigan are champions. Doncaster promoted with them. Portsmouth, Sheffield Wednesday, Scunthorpe and Ipswich still languishing down there. In the relegation zone, Sunderland are relegated to League Two. Can we just talk about the fact that Sunderland are relegated to League Two? Um... That is quite something. So that's back-to-back -back relegations for Sunderland, and they dropped down into the fourth tier of English football with Gillingham, who also were in the Championship a couple of years ago, Southend and Oldham, but Jesus, Sunderland, that's insane. In League 2, Chesterfield are now promoted into League 1 again, so they've come up the leagues with us. Burton go with them, along with Mansfield, Bradford, Port Vale, Cambridge United, and Northampton in the playoffs. Down go AFC Wimbledon, out of the football league. That's a shame, massive shame, in fact, and Yeovil will go down with them. Ooh, this Jake Bradshaw guy's got 23 goals. And in the National League, Leighton Orient win it. Filed, Chesterfield, Morecambe, Ebbsfleet, York, and Stockport County in the playoff spots. Don't go Concord, Kingsland, Barrow, who've actually had one of our players this year, and Torquay United go down. So there you go. That's another season. Uh, we had a little bit of a wobble towards the end, but all in all, in fact, we didn't win any of our last... We didn't win either of the last two games. and didn't score in any of them today, uh, which is kind of a bit anticlimactic, but at the end of the day, we're promoted to the Premier League, so who gives a shit? 
Anyway, if you've enjoyed this season, and I really hope you have, it's been a really fun one, uh, particularly towards the end when we got on that good run, drop a like on the video. That would be spectacular. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Got a lot of work to do in the summer, a lot of money to spend, but I'm not going to just waste it on randomness. We're going to be bringing in lots more younger reinforcements. I can now target a slightly higher caliber of player, as well as hopefully scout slightly different countries uh, to bring in some more quality. Because the Brexit thing, I've not noticed any changes, to be honest, really. So that's kind of weird. But there you go. So, as always, I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. As always, hold your gun, Capybara. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.